Hey guys, James here. Uh, first off, I want to apologize. It's been about a week since I got a video out. Uh, we had to finish up moving, and it was my birthday week, and it got pretty busy, and I did not have any time to get on here and record. Uh, working on getting back into it. Um, Going to focus on the EU for uh, MIU and taxes. Uh, Portugal, one that we're currently in. So, uh, yeah, I just want to apologize for that. Uh, work on recording some, so let's go ahead and uh, get it started. So we, our current hope, as of where we last left off, we have this. Bujader, 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, we have that as our furthest colony. Um, I guess technically... We're on a January tick. Technically, the Azores, the Azor, Azores Islands, um, might be a little further, but uh, in our purpose of exploring and expanding down the African coast right now, they are not very helpful. They uh, will be extremely helpful when we go to jump off into the Caribbean over here. <clears throat> so, let me take a look, refresh myself. So we're working on economic ideas. Tech, we are still behind in military, that's right. So that'll be coming up here this year. Um, Diplo, we're probably going to wait another year or two. Um, and then admin, obviously, we're working on economic, and we are two years ahead almost. Or two technologies ahead almost. Um, this. Okay, so there's that military tech. What are we getting from this? Infantry fire, point one, Combat with plus one, and land morale, point zero six. We will take that. Um, any decisions... I'm going to sneeze here. Hold on a second, guys. Wow, that was one of the loudest sneezes I've ever had. Good lord. I'm usually a single sneezer, so we shouldn't have a problem, but you never know. Um, right. So, this it should keep getting closer and closer as we increase our economic size up here, um, draw more trade in, and keep producing. We need... Let's see what our income is right now. We're on a January tick again, of course. Uh, I want to see what our income is. I want to look and see... Because I... <laughs> Right now, okay, so point or one point one. What is our what is our land? Eight of nine, okay, and we're at nineteen and nineteen for naval. So right now my biggest worry <clears throat> is that Castile will break the alliance and decide, hey, we want to eat you or something like that. Um so right now they are my only ally. Um, we are going to go to Northwest Africa. <clears throat> does that actually show up here? Yes, it does. Aha! I didn't know that. Okay. That makes sense. Um, ooh, I didn't, I didn't know these before. Okay. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. But, yeah, so we need to continue focusing on just upping our economy as fast as we can. Once we can get that trade coming in from Southern Africa, and if we can, it's going to be a while, but if we can get around and start pulling in some of the Asian trade, that should give us <clears throat> an opportunity to strengthen ourselves against Spain. Although, I mean, we aren't going to we aren't going to hold Spain off cuz look, they've got 18,000. 
So, double our current troops and then double our reserves. Only got maps. Great. Okay. Um. I didn't even know what that is. I'm just checking out some of these modifiers that I had no idea what they were. January again. Huh. I had never looked at this before. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so factions, neutral, neutral, neutral. Okay. Kingdom. So we do have another alliance slot that we could potentially try to get. Um, our best option is probably going to be England. Uh... So let's go ahead and try it, um, just to get get it back. And then if we if we end up getting drawn into a war between Castile and England, we'll join with Castile, obviously. Um, here we are going to go with. Yeah. <coughs> England's working on unifying the British Isles. Um, okay. They do not have any more alliance slots. I didn't even notice that. Well, when it comes open, uh, for now we are going to send a diplomat there. Um, and we lost that back probably five, ten episodes ago. Um, France had gone to war and said that they needed to break their break their alliance with us, or that we needed to uh, end our alliance with them. So, let's take a look here. I want to look at something. If I were to go down here and start conquering along the coast here, how much trade power could I establish in the Strait of Gibraltar? Because, so the Strait of Gibraltar is important. A lot of these we can directly push to uh, I, the Iberia node. But, for anything coming through the Mediterranean, and anything that Spain decides to pull up, it's going to go here to the Strait of Gibraltar node. And plus, there's a lot of local wealth down here. Um, so, incoming 3.05. Most of it is still outgoing. But if we can establish more power in this node, we can just continue to pull and push into Iberia. So, I, I explained that like you're a bunch of noobs, but if you're watching about MEIOU and taxes, you probably understand that already. Spain has gone insane down here. That is crazy. The... <laughs> oh, did my game just crash? Uh, hello? I think I'm on a January tick. That's what my OBS shows. But the game minimized for me. I'm scared. Whew, okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm gonna pause real quick. Maybe? Uh, maybe? A second, guys. My keyboard is not working. Hold on a second. There we go. Oh, good lord, that was weird. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know what happened there. We hit a January tick, and my all of a sudden, EU4 uh, 
like minimized itself and then my keyboard quit working when I came back in. It's weird. I wonder it might be something to do with just EU4 is now 10 years old, I believe. It might just be might just be an old because it's an old game. Okay, so Seuss. Seuss is Okay. Morocco. Give me one second here, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get out of the diplomat mode. Morocco. Holy cow. Tunis. They're scary. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go to war with Morocco. Good lord. Uh, let's hope we can get a uh, another province down here. I'm hoping one of these. Although this one doesn't have a natural harbor. Wait, so having this actually decreases naval force limit? Or does that just have to do with the base naval force limit that you would get from like... This. No, not that. That. You don't even get anything. I don't know. Colony is self-sustaining, so Madeira has become self-sustaining. We're going to make it a core. Alright, let's check out the population here. Solid uh, 22,000. Okay. We could invest a little bit of commercial. I want to look, let's look at the Azores, Azores as well. Let's, we're going to throw 10 of Commerce. Actually, you know what, we're going to do 20 of Commerce at the Azores. And then, didn't find opportunity, okay. And then we're going to throw another well, it's 16 at Madeira. Um, okay, improved flanking range, plus 5%. Cav shock, 0.3. And new artillery. Okay, bombards. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, what do I want to grab? Are you within colonial range? No. What about you? Yes. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> Let's attempt to colonize here. So we are making solid money right now. We are on a January tick again. EU4 did not minimize this time. So England... Looks like England removed Castile as a rival. That's beneficial. We'll take a closer look at that once this January tick ends. <laughs> this one's taking forever. Maybe, maybe, maybe the game will crash, hopefully not. It is uh, struggling as you can see right here. I might have to restart my computer after this one, see if there's some updates that need installed. I'm scared to click. 
All right, hold on a second. I'm going to minimize out and come back in and click. And it's still frozen. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a little longer. Let's see here. I wonder if maybe OBS has an update that I didn't see. Because I know I had, there was an issue with OBS when I started it up. But, yeah, it looks like, looks like uh, you, oh, 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 we're good. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going. If it does that again on the next January tick, I'm going to hop out and, uh, um, restart my computer and check OBS for an update as well. <clears throat> Apologies if I just breathed into the mic really loud. <laughs> okay. So that's co that colony is working on improving. Uh, can I go here, Macronesia? It's already a state. Let's see. Encourage city growth. Ooh, you know what? Actually, hold up. Go back to Madeira. So that's 12. If I were to go here, how much development do I have in Beerus? Beerus? Or do I want to go in Alentio? Okay, so governing capacity, I believe, is development. Fourteen, ten, thirteen, eleven, sixteen, four, seven, and twenty-eight. Oh, okay, the seven is not. So yes, that's what that is. So 96, if we were to encourage city growth, it's going to increase resident and Berger attraction at the cost of 0.12 Diplo power per year. I assume that gets taken out in the taxes when it runs taxes. Let me, I just want to calculate that quick. 96 times 0.12 would be 11.52 yearly. Now, we are currently at a plus 6. So that is 72 a year. Minus probably another 10 right now currently for taxing. So another 12. And then if I were to go here and do it as well, it'd be another 6-ish. Um, I think, I think that's worth doing for right now. Uh, enact state edict for at least three years, which is not bad. Um, monarch power is deducted on a yearly basis. I wonder if that goes in the January tick or during the February tick, um, or just immediately when I click this. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it didn't go right when I clicked that. Encourage city growth. Now, if we did it down here as well, in Macronesia, Mac, Macaronesia. I don't know if that's a typo or not. Um, we're going to do that here as well. Encourage city growth. You know what? Screw it. We're going all in on the encouraging city growth. So, that will... The cities are the things that give us these minor center of trades, important center of production, stuff like that, and it increases our trade power um, and produces more trade value as well. 
So we are currently... Castile is getting ambitious here. They're actually pulling in a lot more trade power. They must be doing some investment along here because they are popping up centers of trade all over the place. Um, cause they, yeah, they are starting to steal more trade from us. Okay. Trade node power plus 5%. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're going to run in all of it. Um, how much do they have from ships? France has 32. Oh, no, that's why. Because I'm a moron. <laughs> All right, uh, let's... We're going to run that quick and see where we're at. <laughs> I completely forgot we got a new... Uh, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> I completely forgot that our fleet got upgraded in the last video. So that's what happens when I don't record in a week. Um, that's more like it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. That is where we're going to end this video. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Um, I am going to restart my computer quick and then get back in and start recording again. Um, apologies again for the past week of not getting anything out. Um, but I am... Still working on getting getting ahead of stuff. Uh, hopefully, I can get some more EU recorded and scheduled, um, and then keep working on EU. I want to get that so that I'm out a little ways, and then get back into the CK too, because that has been a while since I played that, and I hope I hope there isn't any updates that have broken that save. Um, but that's the plan. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.